Dragonborn. Beyblade Metal Fusion, Metal Master, and Metal Fury all made up my childhood. And after re-watching all of it, I need to say two things. Shogun Steel is dog water, and Ryuga is the most disrespectful character I've seen in a minute. Of course, Ryuga after Metal Fusion. Metal Fusion, Ryuga was a disgrace. Well, no, well, but the comeback he made in Metal Masters and Metal Fury. Perfect. Subscribe, that helps me a million percent. And now, case one. Ryuga, surrounded by five bladers, all taking aim at him, this man doesn't pull out his launcher. Instead, he just simply grabs his bay, tosses it out there, and goes ham on all of them. He needs some milk! They all got wrecked easy by Ryuga. Case number two. His bay may be powerful, but you can't diss my man Ryuga. Because even without his bay, he intimidated a tiger twice his size just by looking at him. Be gone! Case number three. In Metal Masters, while the story was going on, as the tournament saga was rearing its final conclusion, Ryuga shows up in the middle of the grand final second round, remembers that that witch called him out in previous episodes ago, saying that he can beat Ryuga once he has his Beyblade. Ryuga remembered his threat, and Ryuga is here to deliver, saying like, yo, I see you have your Beyblade right there, so throw them hands. There's no more excuses. I'm taking over the story. Not interacting with the story at all until then. Just comes in asserting his dominance by not just beating him, letting him think he won, and then saying, is that the limit of your power? <laughs> Ryuga begins to talk down on him and say you talk all of this mad crap but the difference in you and me when we talk i can back it up you can case four many different anime characters have training arcs some people train in different places like the afterlife an island full of vicious animals and typically they train with a master who's old but very powerful not ryuga ryuga trains in a freaking volcano alone with him and his bay after taking an L from the MC, he goes and trains so hard that he evolves his bay alone, and then his introduction is just so casually done. He comes in during the plot of the story where the newest main villain was introduced, and Ryuga just literally looks at him, scoffs at him, and says, your bay ain't shit, and then he just leaves. But what other character can you possibly think trains in a freaking volcano alone? Case number five. The greatest disrespect ever done in Beyblade history is when Ryuga stands up, stared the equivalent of Satan in the eyes, and said, I will not lose! Even if my opponent is a god, I will defeat anyone who stands in my way! Do you hear me? My name is Ryuga! I reign over this world as the strongest, the Dragon Emperor himself! Then proceeds to do the most coolest ultimate move I've ever heard. Sure he lost, but he still stared down a deity. And he didn't pussy out, he didn't get some plot armor, here's up. There is no doubt in my mind that Ryuga carried the show. And I'll see you guys next week, you guys stay safe and peace. If I could possibly make one better or equal to our legendary Smash Ultimate game cover that we